Well, I did a thing, and as you can see, I am now the new owner of a kayak. Uh, this is the Manta Angler from Lifetime. It is a new model for 2024. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna dive right into it. We're gonna check this thing out, um, look at all the features and things like that, and then just talk about it a little bit. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna go ahead, add a couple clips of me riding it out in our pond, as you can see in the background there. Um, just so you guys can see how stable it actually is. Because this thing is insanely stable on water when paddling. So let's dive right into it. All right, so like I said, this is the Manta Angler Kayak from Lifetime, new for 2024. Uh, it is 10 foot long, exactly, uh, at its widest width, 38 inches. So it's a pretty beefy kayak. Um, the bottom is obviously, as you can see, the hull is a little bit different. I'll put a picture up on that on the screen so you can see what the bottom of the hull looks like. It's more of a pontoonish look and it really, it's super stable in the water because of that design when paddling and even standing on it. Um, but it is a fishing kayak and that's what I got it for going, uh, fishing out on rivers, lakes, things like that. Mostly river fishing, especially over in Pennsylvania, over on the Clarion River. Um, but we will be hitting up some lakes and um, whatnot here uh, in the area eventually as well. Um, but let's just get started. We'll start at the front, work our way back. Um, but up here in the front, as you can see, a nice sturdy handle, really nice. Um, and then the back, it actually has wheels so you can roll it. It has two of them. Um, a nice, nice handle, nice grip up here. Um, and then we move to the um, storage area here. It does have a... Uh, gasket seal around it uh, so it is watertight um, and then it has an insert here you can put some stuff in uh, you can take that out obviously I do have a uh, anchor system here that I bought and we'll go over that in a little bit but you can then take and you can store stuff inside of here you know I plan to probably store like my clothes uh, hammock hammock straps rain tarp stuff like that in here smaller stuff that I can fit in small dry bags um, so that's probably what I'll store up in there. Um, that's that. We do obviously have an anchor system, and I'll put it on the side here. So that's one of the modifications I plan to do right out of the gate with this um, is an anchor system. A lot of people say to get the anchor wizard, but I don't really see myself needing an anchor wizard. I don't really use an anchor as, as much to begin with. If I do use an anchor, I can just drop that, drop it off the side. Um, and I also point upriver facing up river a lot when I kayak. So I'm actually fishing backwards. Um, that's how they stay to fish. Actually, uh, when you're river fishing is actually throw upstream at uh, about anywhere from a 11 to a one o'clock in that general angle. It's where you want to be fishing. Um, but anyway, we have four um, rails here that you can put various attachments to, rod holders, cup holders, um, rods so that you can actually um, attach like a GoPro, things like that. All kinds of different attachments you can put on these rails. Um, so there's four of those. We have two fishing rod holders right here in the front as well. Um, they both angle out. And then there's four more on the back. We'll get to those in a bit. Yeah, a nice big deck area, over 24 inches in length for standing, um, that kind of thing. It's really great, really stable. You have this nice foam here um, for stability um, to hold to get grip. That way, if your deck gets a little bit wet, um, you still have good grip there. You have the adjustable um, standard uh, foot rests from Lifetime. Those are pretty pretty standard in a lot of fishing kayaks nowadays. They're really convenient um, because you can actually adjust it to the rider and you don't have to worry about the preset holes. You can fine tune it a lot better. Um, so that's very nice. Uh, moving back here, we have the seat. Um, this is a pretty nice Lifetime seat. Nothing super fancy about it, but it does fit in and clamp in. Um, and then it has two um, bungee cords back here to hook in. Um, I am going to get the two inch riser for this so it rises it up a little bit. Um, that way um, I just have a little bit better viewing. Also, I can put a flat tackle box underneath the bottom under here. Um, I can have that under here underneath the seat and store it while I'm fishing. Um, it has, do has six scupper holes. Um, as you can see in the front for draining water, I'm going to have to get scupper plugs uh, for those. Um, the uh, foam golf balls that I have, and I have two in the back here, um, they wouldn't stay in. It's too shallow of a hole, so I'll have to get plugs for that, but not a big deal. 
Um, does, does have two cup holders. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my what? God! What? It's a double cup what? You have your paddle holders on the sides along with a handle. Uh, handle. So that's all the features up front. In the back here, uh, we have four rod holders. Um, you can uh, actually take this cover off and actually there's five positions that you can angle these. Um, right now they're actually angling out and then straight back. You can angle them so they do both go straight back. So that's what I plan to do. Um, it keeps your profile narrower, um, especially if you're getting into somewhere with a lot of brush and limbs, low hanging limbs, stuff like that. It's not going to catch, or if you happen to be close to somebody, um, they're not going to be hanging out. It's, I want to have them hang, angling straight back. Um, we have then a really big area here in the back. You can put a tote, more storage for items, obviously with the bungee cords. Um, so that's really nice to have too. Um, you can haul a lot of stuff. It does have a tray for a battery, it says over here. Um, and then you can actually, it comes with a transom and I'll show you a picture of that. It attaches over here so then you can put a trolling motor. Um, I do plan to do that and use a trolling motor for lake fishing only, not for river fishing just because the river already pretty much moves you and it's not um, that big a deal um, with trying to have one. Um, like I said, the, the river we go fishing in over Pennsylvania is pretty shallow. Um, and it's kind of fast-ish moving in some parts. It just kind of depends, but eventually for lake fishing, I will put the uh, transom on here and, and do that with the trolling motor. And then in the back again, we have the wheels underneath, two of them, and then you have a nice handle here to carry it. Um, it did not come, this is the Walmart version, by the way, um, the gray one. Uh, Tractor Supply has the blue version. It's a dark blue with the medium blue in the front. Tractor Supply does not have any stock right now. It sounds like they're having maybe some issues from lifetime with getting kayaks. I've noticed not only this model, but some other models are not always in stock everywhere. So I think they may be having some issues um, with distribution, um, but they should hopefully have stuff out later this fall again uh, in 2024. Um, but like I said, it did not come with the paddle, so I had to get my own. This is just a Pelican paddle. It's a 250 millimeter. Um, I went with the larger one and I'll show you why. Um, I went with the larger one um, because this is so wide, it is 38 inches wide. You want to have ample room for paddling. Um, if this was a lot shorter, you would be in like this trying to paddle. And that's not good. So you want to make sure you have a good long paddle for this kayak. And then obviously clip it in right here with your paddle holder. It'll stay, it won't go nowhere. Um, I'm actually thinking about getting one of the clip-in kind and maybe putting it right here. Uh, but we'll see. I don't know for sure. But clip that on there for now. Like I said, it has one on both sides. Uh, this is the Pelican. What is this? The Poseidon paddle. It was 50 bucks. Um, but I would recommend 240, 250 at least on the length for your paddle. Um, then obviously I have my anchor here. This is just a three and a half pound anchor. Nothing fancy. That's what I plan to use for a rocky bottom. Um, but I think that's pretty much it. Like I said, the modifications I plan to do, uh, obviously adding the anchor system, getting the risers, and um, maybe moving these around. Um, I don't really think of anything else that I'm going to really do to it for now. Obviously adding the transom eventually, and then the uh, trolling motor, but... That's pretty much it. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to drop in the comments, like, share, comment, all that fun stuff. Let's go check out some of the video of me riding around out on the pond. Not bad, it floats good. It goes nice and straight. I like it, it glides nice. It glides really nice. Wow, that thing was smooth. I mean, that really, that's smooth.
Yeah, don't do that on the second play hold. Oh, where? 